What's happening guys? Safety Liner C2 here. So this is the December 2022 school bus collection update. I'm going to show you everything that I got in December. There's some pretty interesting things in here. So let me get to showing you. Starting us off, we have some literature. This is a 1960s uh, carpenter manual and it's pretty big. So it's neat. I hadn't seen this specific uh, one before and then each page kind of folds out like this so it'd be a little hard to show on camera but um, I'm definitely going to of course scan this and all the rest of the literature that I got and put it on my Flickr um, so if you're interested in checking this or any of the literature out or really anything that I show off in this video you can head over there and all of these will be on there including plenty more as you can see, it's in pretty rough shape. I'm not real happy with um, how it came. And there's a little bit of uh, damage up here. Um, so it could definitely be better. It's not the best one that I have. It's not the worst one that I have. It's pretty far down there, though. Um, but super cool brochure nonetheless. Next up, we have this Collins brochure. This would be from... Maybe 2015, 2016 plus. It doesn't have a date on it, but um, nothing too crazy. But I bought this in a lot with the next one that I'm going to show off and thought it was cool. And here's the other one that I got. This is a propane and gas CE uh, little informational page. This is from 2018. It's not going to focus, but right there. 2018. And I picked both of these up for like eight dollars i think so it wasn't too expensive um but yeah cool to have some modern stuff too the last one that i got is this 1940s superior brochure and the person who was selling this had a couple other really interesting ones um but i did not win those unfortunately and there was this really cool uh 1930s reo brochure i'll throw up some pictures of it it's super super cool and i would have loved to have had that one but wasn't paying attention to the time and uh ultimately lost it so um but this one's pretty neat and you know again nice to have some early bus stuff i think that chassis is super cool even though i don't think it's an actual uh chassis that was used but the superior pioneer um beautiful beautiful bus and yeah and the last thing that's not really in literature but has writing on it so close enough it's this uh bus stop sign it's made out of like a cardboard material and from what i saw these were put up during world war ii i doubt this is an original one um but for just like two or three bucks i picked it up um at a antique store just because it's cool and uh you know, it looks pretty close to School Bus Yellow. It says bus stop on it. And, uh, yeah, from that same antique mall, we got this little M&M's uh, bus tin. It's pretty neat. I picked this up again for just a few bucks. Uh, the back of it opens, so I'm going to be able to put something in there. So, uh, I don't know if maybe uh, some more keychains will go in there or some pins or just something small can go in there um, for extra storage. But... Um, yeah, just a, just a few bucks and figured I'd pick this up while I was at it. Next up, I got a couple magnets. This one is a little international one, which is super cool. And then I also got this crown by Carpenter one, which I hadn't seen before. And I got these in a lot on eBay. Fairly cheap. It wasn't too, too expensive. Um, and there was another one of these crown ones, another one of these international ones, and then a carpenter magnet. And I sent uh, those to Noah for the holidays and then kept these two because I hadn't seen them. Um, so yeah, I thought they were pretty interesting. Similarly, we have this Ward Patriot keychain, which is super, super cool. I had not seen anything Ward Patriot uh, branded like this. Um, it, it's such a unique bus and uh, so I got one for me, one for Noah, and then one for Adam. And it, it, it's just super cool. 
I am really happy with this one just because of, uh, again, you just don't see a whole lot of Ward Patriot stuff. So I thought it was cool for that reason. Next couple things I got for the holidays. This is just a fairly standard Hot Wheels school bus. You know, I have a couple of these, but of course, nice to have another one. I also got this collector's edition Matchbox International uh, bright pink color. It is one of 10,000. Box is in a little rough shape, uh, but the bus itself is in pristine condition. I took it out and it looks like it had never been out of the package before. Um, but yeah, just super, super cool. Uh, and I didn't have this one, so yeah. I also did not have this Tonka one, uh, nor had I seen it before. It's kind of like a, a GMC Chevy. Uh, looks Thomas to me. And yeah, th this one is super cool. Like I said, I hadn't ever seen this one before. So uh, for me to get a bus that I not only don't have is one thing, uh, but to get one that I've never seen before, um, that's it, it's an unusual occurrence for me. And then we got this one right here. This is a, a really interesting bus. It almost reminds me of like uh, a mix between a Wayne and a All-American. I don't have this one. Um, super, super, just a, a beautiful model. It's, it's a little damaged right here. I feel like there would have been maybe something right there, but it could just be me. Um, looks like it might be coming apart just a tiny bit, but um, overall, it's in really good condition. Uh, I, I don't have this one, so um, great to have it in the collection now. And there you have it. That is everything that I bought in December 2022. I think that there's some pretty good stuff in there. But with that, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I always do appreciate it. Make sure you subscribe right down here. It's a magical white button that says you are now subscribed to Safety Liner C2. Make sure you comment up here, down here, over here, or over here. I don't know where they put it down here where they put it. Make sure you also give this video a thumbs up or the 2023 collections are going to be awful. <laughs> And make sure you also share this video with a friend, show it to your mom, show it to your dad, show it to a guy on a random street. I don't care. Don't let anything happen to you. So yeah, guys, that's going to do it for this video. And thanks for watching.